So with headless mode, um, you know, whatever direction the quadcopter is facing won't really matter. Uh, but if you, if the, if it's in true headless mode, um, which whenever you hit the the stick back, uh, the quadcopter will come back towards you. If you go forward, it's going to go forward, uh, side to the side, uh, and the other side to the other side, regardless of where the true um, front of the quadcopter is heading. So that's that's pretty much what it means. It means that um, so in in a in a sense. It should be easier to control if it's in headless mode because back is always going to come back to you and forward is always going to go um, away from you so that that should be easier the problem is is that with a lot of these if you don't set them up correctly or or sometimes they just don't work right so that can be uh, that can be a problem so what I want to do today is test these three out should give a pretty good sample so uh, that's the Ishin HHC. This right here is the Lian Sheng LS114, and this here is the MJX X600. So uh, let's start off here with the with the HHC. Uh, we're gonna set it up correctly and see how uh, see if we can get headless mode going. Okay, so got the quad here. I'm gonna set it up uh, with the front facing forward, and I'm gonna set it up just like that. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. This one has a nice little on and off switch, so uh, red lights blinking forward. All right, and now I'm gonna turn on the transmitter. Okay, so it's bound. Um, yep, the quadcopter's bound and everything. So, okay, so we are, the quad is facing that way towards that house. So that's our reference or whatever you want to call it. So with this one, the way you go into headless mode is you press this downward button here. So I'm going to just go up slightly and then press it and see. Uh, I'm going to go to rate 3 because it's the easiest for me to control it. Okay, that's rate 3. And take it up. Okay. So there, the quad is still facing forward. Um, so now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to press that little button. Okay, so supposedly it's in headless mode right now. So it should come towards me. Okay, it's going away from me. Okay, no, that's not what it's supposed to do. As I was, I was yawing and, and turning the quadcopter, um, and I was holding the this back button back. The quad should have been coming back towards me. Instead, this quad here um, was going away from me. So that uh, that is not the way headless mode is supposed to work. We'll try it one more time with the squad, and then we'll go to the Lian Shang LS114. All right, so let's get it back into the air again. So, just I'm being able to control it just fine. It's actually flying pretty well. This one, this one here, flies well. It's long, um, especially with without the guards. All right, but now let's do headless. So again, I'm facing it over there towards that house, and I'm just gonna hit that button straight down. And it's on, it should be on headless, so, okay, so now the true test is going to be when I face it forward, and it, no, okay, that's not really headless, let me see if the light's blinking, uh, okay, no, so the light's not blinking, I think the light should be blinking if it's in headless, okay, I think that is headless. Again, um, it's a headless, but it's just, it just has a tendency to just um, get away from, get away from me. So as soon as it goes into headless, uh, you see right there, the lights are blinking. It's still in headless mode. It just, it just shoots away from me. So I don't, I don't really know uh, how else to fix that. So let's try the LS114, the Lian Shang. Turn headless mode on. You. Uh, go up on that trim button to turn it off. You go, you go down on the trim button. Okay, so let's. Um, so I'm gonna just phase that way. Let me, let me rebind and everything. That might make a difference. So I'm binding in that direction. Okay. Okay, it's bound. Now let me go into headless mode. 
Okay, it's in headless mode. And now let's try it again. Alright, so. Whoa. No. That's not working quite right. Let me bring her back. This headless mode, it just in general, it's so iffy. Um, Alright, let me let me try it one more time here with the LS 114. Now I had it I've had it work on this one before. So all right, let me try that again. Okay, it's in headless mode again. But now it's just going. Let's see. I'm going okay, so just to kind of show off what it's doing, I'm going forward, it goes sideways. So it's almost like the center of reference is something different. All right, that's kind of working, I guess. So it, the, the quad's facing me, and I'm coming back. I'm going, I'm coming towards me. So you see how the quad's blinking. That's the front of the quad, but I'm coming back, and it's coming towards me. So that's, in a sense, that's kind of working, but not really, not really like I wish it would. I'm just going to turn it off. This one kind of works. I mean, it it I was trying to I was trying to bring it back and you know, even though the front wasn't uh, the, with the front facing me, which if you, you know, normally if you go back and the front's facing you, it's just going to go backwards. So on headless mode, even if it's facing you with the front, it and you go back, it should still come towards you. And it kind of did it, but it wasn't that great either. All right, guys. So now I have the MJX X600 here, and same thing. I'm gonna try the headless mode. So uh, I already have it bound, um, and I'm gonna go straight. I'm gonna go on the second rate on this one. Um, there we go. Mode two. Okay. So let me just fly it around a little bit. Kind of get. Okay. Now this is a powerful little one. It's pretty cool. All right. So. Um, last time I tried headless, headless mode on this, it was a disaster. So let me, uh, let me do it again. <laughs> Alright. Thank you. Press down. Okay, now. Gotta, gotta remember how to do it. I think you press this down for three seconds. Okay, so it's in headless mode. So, um, see how the lights are blinking there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna face it towards me. And I'm, I'm pushed back toward... Wow, headless mode is surprisingly working well now. So, I'll, I'll show what I'm doing. So the quadcopters, I mean the hexa is face, facing me. And I'm pushing back, and it's coming towards me. Let's see if it does it in every direction. No, it doesn't do it in every direction. So, it's only... Okay, so I kind of get it now. Let's see. Okay, I'm off headless mode. I was trying to make sure I could keep it under control, but okay. So what it does is okay. So it, if that is the the reference point, if that is a reference point, if I if it's in front of me and it's and it's turned towards me, the 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 hex I will know that if I press back, it's gonna come back. But once it gets behind me. If I press back, if I press, if I keep pressing back, it's gonna keep going back the other way. So it's not gonna. So I'm not the reference um, to the to the hexacopter, which really should be the way it works. The whatever direction you set it in to begin with is is the reference. So it's not a true headless mode, because you got to keep that in mind, and that can get confusing. But so to me, it's just more of a hassle. The feature. But anyway, guys, I hope you y'all uh, got something out of this, and uh, y'all uh, watch some more videos and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.